Hello guys, welcome to my new video for MSc Mathematics. So in the last video, I have given some um, definitions for topology. These are the basic things of topology that what is called topology, what is topological space, then intersection of two topologies is always a topology and union of two topologies may not be always a topology. Now in this video, I, have, I will be giving you some basic definition which are required to understand topology further, okay? So let's start. The first one is open set. So what is open set? Any set belongs to topology T in X is called open set. Let X T be a topology and X equal to A, B, C, D and T equal to A, A, B, C, A, C, D, A, B, A, C, a d x and phi let us suppose let define the topology as i have shown in the figure right so this will be the topology x is the main set t is the topology that is the class of subsets you know i have already explained uh, in the previous video then all of these sets belong to the topology t belonging to the topology t will be the open set right so how we can say that t is a topology because t is satisfied uh, satisfying the three axioms of topology that i have defined i have shown you in the last video so if you check you can understand from here that uh, you can understand that here t will be a topology in x okay you can verify that Whatever I have written, you can verify that. Go, go to the, my previous video and then understand what is topology, what are the axioms um, that should be satisfied for the topology. There are three axioms. So go there and then check that and then come here and verify whether T is topology or not. So T is a topology basically. Okay. So I am saying T is a topology because I verified that. So T is a topology then every set okay every set belonging to topology will be called open set so all of these are all of these are open sets all of these are open sets okay now what is limit point let p be a point such that p belongs to x and a is any subset of x then p is called limit point of a if for every open set g containing p is such that g difference p intersection a not equal to phi okay or we can say every open set g contains at least one uh, point of a other than p okay now let us consider as subset of x as a b c okay and consider x as the main set and t as the topology okay so these are the open set all of these are open sets right so let us verify whether uh, let us find out the limit points. Let us find out the limit points. Let us verify what, what will be the limit points for this subset A. Okay. So first, okay, you just go through the definition that every, every, for every open set, right? These are all open sets. Okay. Now let us suppose, let put P equal to A. Let put P equal to A. Check, first check whether P will be a limit point of a b uh, of the subset a or not first check that okay first we, are, we will be checking whether a is a limit point of subset uh, a or not so for that you we, we can see that a the set a is containing a the set a b c containing a set a c d containing a a b containing a a c containing a a d containing a okay all these are containing a but by the definition every that for every subset uh, for every open set right for every open set containing p okay every con con here we written that for every open set g containing p that means these will one two three four five six there are six subsets okay there are six subsets all of those are containing uh, a right when we will be con checking whether a is a limit point we have to consider all of these sets right we cannot ignore any of this but now let's let's start with this one this one okay so what we can see that g difference 
p that means a difference a right we have put p equal to a then we can write uh, that this um, set uh, limit point set like this okay and then we have considering this set this open set this is the open set this is the, this is the open set this is the limit point set if we make the difference we will get phi okay now intersection of any two any set with phi always return phi so what we are getting we are getting phi okay that is not satisfying this that is not satisfying this right so we can say is not a limit point okay because we are we will not be going to check all of this one this one this one this one this one because for if every open set right for every open set if if these topology then all of these are open sets right so every open set containing the point right so if we consider this if we consider this if we consider this if we consider then maybe we it looks like a is a limit point but if we consider this you can see that a is not a limit point right a is not a limit point because we have to check every open set containing the point right we we cannot ignore this one we have to check every point every open set so if we check this if you check this if you check this if you check this we will, you will you, you can see that this will return a as limit point but if you check this one you will see that a will be a not a limit point right so you can check that okay i have shown you that how to check i have shown you how to check so you can check the rest of this one rest of this for rest of this one i am saying it looks that a is a, it, it will return a, a as limit point but when you will check with this it will return that a is not a limit point so so what is the conclusion so a is not a limit point so the conclusion is a is not a limit point right a is not a limit point here now let's start with b let's start checking with b okay let's start checking with b So for B, we can see that if we do, if we do G difference P, if we check A B C, if we check A B C as a set, right? If we check A B C as a as as a set, if we consider A B C as a set, and then if we dif, if we uh, if we dif, uh, reduce that B, if we have a difference from A B C and B, if you if if we do a difference of A B C and B, what we will get? We will get A C, right? We will get A C, right? And if we if we de, uh, do the intersection of that difference with a what we will get we will get ac right we will get ac sorry we will get uh, a, yeah we will get ac because this is this is returning ac subset is ab abc here the open set this is the op, this is the open this is the subset a this is a this is a right this is a and what is this this is this one this is this one right this is this one and we have con considered uh, this as open set we have considered this as open set right so g minus limit point limit point is b this is the limit point this is the limit point this is the limit point right this is the limit point okay so we have, what we did we considered this one because this set is containing is con contains b as as a point right b as a member so we can consider this one then we can do a difference of this set abc and then set b okay what we get we get ac right then what we have to do then we have to do the intersection of ac with the subset a right this is the ac result of this and then we are doing intersection with the subset abc and what we are getting we are getting anything so that is not a, not null right that is that is not a null set that is not phi right so we can say b is a limit point okay go go through the previous page and look once for other sets also which are which are containing b right which contains b if you if you see which uh, which sets are containing b this one is containing b so we have shown in the example that yes if we consider this set we will have b as limit point right now if we check with uh, this set a b then still we have a b, uh, we, we will have b as limit point how how we can say the, for that it will, will be a limit point because if we consider this set and if we subtract b from here it will return a right it will return a if we had a difference with this set and b b set b then uh, what we will get we will get a as result right a as result so 
if we do intersection of a with abc okay what we will get we will get a right that is not no, null that is not five right so we can from here we also um, checking that this open set is also uh, for this open set b is also a limit point right and ne next where uh, where the b reside in uh, is there any set where b is containing as a member of the set no there are two set basically this one set and this set which contains b as member of the set right so for these two set we will be checking for these two open sets right because in the definition part we have mentioned that the open set should contain the limit point right if the if the others if we check with the other set we can you can we can check that this other set is not containing the limit point right so you don't have to check with the other set we will only check those set who who which contains the limit point okay i mean in, in limit point should be member of those sets those open sets right as per the definition of limit point so we will check with abc and a b only and from both of this we are seeing that um, the this is not returning this this is not returning phi right this is not equal to phi right so that is why b is a limit point now if we want to check with c so if you want to check with c so which are the which are the set which contains c this set contains c this set contains c contains c and this set consent contains c right this set contains c right all the all the three sets consent uh, contains c this one this one and this one now if we consider this abc and uh, um, make a difference with c because c is a limit point what we will get ab and then if we do intersection ab with abc we will get ab right that is not phi okay next consider this set for this set reduce c what we will get ad right we will get ad right now if we do intersection of ad with abc still we will be getting a right still we will be getting a right so again it is satisfying that c as a limit point next for this set comes for this set if we redu if you uh, 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 reduce c from here what we will get we will get a right we will get a now if you do intersection of a with abc what we will get we will get a right so that is also not a phi okay not a null set so c is also a limit point for this for this uh, subset ab so so for this subset b and c will be the limit point right so that is how we actually determine the limit point that is how we actually determine the limit points okay for c i have given given you one example right with the ac ac set and you can you can check with the other also so i have already explained that right so for this subset a we can say b and c are the limits points but a is not a limit point right now what is closed closed set okay <coughs> a subset of x is called closed if and only if its complement is open set okay a subset of x is called closed if and only if its complement is open set right so if you are having any difficulties in understanding this go to my uh, video for uh, set theory if you go once at least once uh, through um, if you go through once uh, in the, that video if you, you have to just go through once that video you will understand everything whatever i am i, I am making you understand here you will understand everything at a, at a, at a glance you will understand okay at a glance you will understand everything just go to the set theory video and just see it for once just see it for once go to this set theory video and see it for once then come here it will be very easy to understand it will it is very it will be very easy to understand for you okay now okay uh, what is <coughs> closed set a subset of x is called closed if and only if its complement is open set okay for an example we can uh, take a set x <coughs> uh, as a whole set then t as topology okay then we can take t as topology and we can define it like phi x a c d a b c a c d then b c d e right we can this is the class of subset and you know i have already explained you to understand uh, and uh, to check whether t is a topology or not go to my video for topology okay over there i have given you the example that how we can understand that uh, uh, as a class of subset is a topology for topology or not okay 
uh, for for a set x what there you can understand that so okay go there you come here you will understand okay now let us suppose p as a set let us consider p as a set and a, let p abc be the member of this set now what will be the complement of p so complement will be the difference go to my set theory to understand this okay x minus p will be the complement so what we will be getting a b c d e minus a b c that will be d e okay that will be d e and d e does not belong to t right d e does not belong to t right because so what does mean if it is not belonging to 2 it is not an open set right so it is not an open set right so so here we can say that p is not closed as per the definition we can say p is not closed now let let us sub, let p be a b and e let p we have have a member a b have members a b and e okay now check so what will be the complement p complement of p will be the x difference p that will be a b c d e difference a b e what we will get we will get c d and c d and c c d belongs to t right we have c d in t we have c d in t we have c d in t right we have c d in t right so so we can say that belongs to this so what we can say so we can say the p is closed okay p is closed as its complement is open right its complement is c d that belongs to open set so we can say p is closed so this is the definition of closed set so what you learn today you learn open set limit point and closed set right these are the essential thing to understand topology further so go to my first video of topology then come come to this video and before that go to the video for set theory okay topology it's not a complex thing very complex it seems initially it seems complex subject but if you understand step by step it is not that much complex okay it, it is that it is not that much complex so i am giving you the notes in such a way that it becomes easy to you uh, easy for you to understand the topology subject okay thank you for watching my video and if you like this video please like put a like please share this video okay and please subscribe my channel for getting this kind of videos because i have already told you that i will be giving you notes for abstract all the uh, subjects for semester 1 okay and for that i have already uh, made a video okay go you can go to go to go to that video you can uh, watch that video that what are the subjects for semester 1 okay for msc and i have already uh, told you that i will be giving notes and question answers for all of the subjects so i, I have already started that <coughs> so if you want to uh, be notified then please subscribe my channel thank you for watching